Hello players, let's take a look at a shot that came up for one of my subscribers, Norman. And he shared this with me, and it's one that does come up. I have seen it before, I have actually played it before, and it has been played against me. I will also add that many players don't recognize the shot. Notice how the alignment of the two wired balls is not towards the corner pocket, but at the point of the side pocket. Although the seven and eight are not aligned to the corner pocket, those that understand throw can easily make this shot as we've shown here. So now let's take a look at this shot in further detail. Here I've incorrectly executed the shot and now let me show you why. Watch closely here in slow motion where the cue ball strikes the seven. When we strike the seven ball on the right side the eight ball goes right towards that point of the side pocket. So now let's take a look at a slow motion view of the correct way to execute this shot. Notice that I go rail first so that I can contact the seven on the left side rather than the right side. So why is it that we want to hit on the left side of the seven? Well notice how the seven takes off after the cue ball hits it and goes to the right. Let me explain the physics of what's taking place. Because the cue ball is coming from the left side of the seven, it's plowing the seven to the right, which rubs across the face of the eight ball, which then throws the eight ball down the rail rather than towards the point of that side pocket. And the reason this throw occurs has everything to do with the fact that the two balls are frozen together. As that seven, travels across the face of the eight ball, there is friction created, which then throws the eight ball on the correct line to the corner pocket. Another thing you may have noticed is that I'm hitting inside right running spin as I come into the seven ball. The reason I do this is so that the cue ball can come off the cushion with a flatter angle into the seven. This flatter angle allows me to achieve a center to edge half ball hit. When making a center to edge half ball hit on two frozen balls, you will impart maximum throw on the object ball. And keep in mind, when making any shot, we must play position. So in this case, the inside running spin helps us stay above the nine ball. Notice the tangent line as it comes off the rail aims behind the nine ball, but because of the inside right spin, it masses the cue ball in front of the nine, which gives us perfect position for the seven into the corner pocket. So now that you know the physics behind these shots and how to hit them with a half ball center to edge hit, don't forget to watch for them anywhere on the table. If you found this video to be helpful, please share it so others can see what's going on with this shot as well. And if you wanna watch another great video, Check out the one right here. And until next time, like I always say, keep on practicing.